Valentine. Yeah. That's why I said, yeah. Yeah. So this is actually per a potential reverse sweep from some vodka, but he's been doing very well. Like, both of them are very tight. A very tight game, I mean, not very tight, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure, Herman. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, their gameplay. Yeah, yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so this, he's running, um, I, I think I've seen builds of the current Dragon Warrior. Uh, they they run a little bit slower with the Bookworm, and then they run in Curator as well for mm -hmm. additional value. I'm not sure how that deck works overall, but hey, we're about to see. Yeah, we're going to be able to see. He should have an aggressive start like you know, any other deck. Ooh, Hunter. Seems good, especially this early. Yeah, it seems to be really good. Especially when this class alone can, can apply so much pressure. Jesus. Yeah, well, you're doing four damage next turn. And the best your opponent just did was hero power pass. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Come on, Alex, the champion. I choose you. Now, just, now that card's gonna deal six damage, like guaranteed almost. Nah, it's it's gonna take a sick wrath. Yeah, it's gonna take a sick wrath, like almost guaranteed. Like that's why. I, Unless that's um, why. I think uh, the only thing that would change that is maybe like an growth. innervate or a wild growth. Raven yeah, raven idol just makes it easier. Use you can see wild growth here. Oh, naturalize is actually pretty okay. Just in case that um, Draconite Crusher comes out as a 9-9, but he well, yeah. the, um, I don't think they play Draconite yeah. Crusher anymore. At least uh, not in this current build. Uh, it, it, they take more of a controlling route. That's why you see Fierce Monkey and other things. Uh, I, I think this build actually does run Draconite Crusher with the Frenzy Monkey. Mm, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we'll, mm. find, we'll, <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. I think this build does. Like uh, People have been testing it out, but the uh, Bookworm wasn't that good in this kind of build. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, there's different variants. You, yeah, you're just playing variants. good stuff versus mediocre stuff. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like it's a little counterintuitive because this deck itself is meant for just like it's meant to be played aggressively, right? Maximum potential damage that they could do is like maybe four off of a uh, a core ground elite or something. Mm -hmm. So like they're they're really looking for long term value minions that each card you top deck is going to be that much more stronger and like bookworm is just something the bookworm actually just kills so many good creatures in this current meta yeah, i mean look bookworm. teacher it kills uh twilight guardian it kills uh imp game boss it kill like just good like every single lock card it kills you know what you can do give me some additional value man you know what you can do you can go play wild oh what going back to wild. why would you want to play wild that's like nerfing yourself and nerfing yourself feels, feels bad. Man. I mean, tenth or something like that. <laughs> like, and towards the end of the season, and he was like super excited. He's like, "Oh man, I can do this! I can finally get rank one!" And I'm like, "It's wild. It probably doesn't matter anyway." <laughs> like, maybe 40 people play wild or something. You know? Hey, hey man, some people care about wild. You know? Yeah, I really hope that they pull it back into the tournament scene because I, I think it'd be really cool to have. Wild. Like, I, I just want to play all the good cards again, you know, like, Scientist, uh, I, I think the biggest one that I miss overall is, um, oh god, it's been so long since I forgot to play him, I forgot his name, looking at five drops right now, guys, let's see what he's called. Doo -doo -doo. You could continue to commentate. Alright, so, yeah, going to turn seven, uh, I guess, like, he can be really mad efficient here, he can go with the Korkon and the, um, Twilight Guardian, punching through the, I guess, the Ancient of War. Like, he can use every resources he has on board, the Korkon, Guardian, and Frothing Berserker going into the 510. I think that's, uh, like, yeah, it's a lot of resources used, so I don't think he's actually going to do it. But I guess, like, he's hoping to draw into the next or another answer in the following turns. But we do see Big C picking up the Mulch, so, which is going to be pretty good. Like, he can Linda. use... <laughs> yeah, he could probably use a mulch to bypass the 3-6 if he wants to, and then trade one of the frothing, just in case of, like, potential, like, tons of damage going to phase. Yeah, that would be a good trade-off. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was Lothap. Like, I haven't played that card in so long that I forgot about Lothap. Oh, you were talking about Lothap, but you forgot about Lothap? Jesus. Lothap was one <laughs> of the number one cards to play. Yeah, dude, that card was sick. I loved it. 
I especially love duplicating and echoing it and just locking out priests at the time. Oh man, and some wow, that actually was picks up the sick execute. That's disgusting. That was the sickest. It allows him to push in an insane amount of damage. And, and he's just flooding the board because he knows he can't really be punished. Yeah. We're probably going to see the uh, Innovate Yogg here <laughs> as like oh, uh, I, either I die next that. turn or. <laughs> I can see that. We're doing this. Flame we're, Strike. We're, go. We're, we're, gonna, we're just going to see how strong that Yogg actually is. Flame Strike, Doom, uh, Twisting Nether, uh, all things that like instantly clear. No, Bloodlust is not it. Oh, okay, something. Shadow of Death. Yeah, that, that'll something. take care of one of the monkeys. Oh, Blessing of Wisdom. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, God. That's no, not no, good. No, where, no, where's no, where's no, that no, going? No, no, no. no! That was the worst one! Well, actually, that's oh, good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait, wait, wait. It could it's getting really badly bad. if none of them die. <laughs> it looks like Procon and Leak die. Okay, okay. We're good and good. Need two to go towards that frothing. But every point of damage is going oh, straight to the Berserk. Oh, Oh, my God. That was just the monkey. Oh, oh, Starf. Heal two, do two, oh. Ooh, that's super. Okay, good. that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, it's a full board clear. Oh wow. Yep. Okay, never mind. Wait, no, no, no. You, could, I forgot. You could actually hit yourself. Yeah. Rare few times you could actually hit yourself. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you did pick up an innervate for the turn. You just use it. Yeah, you, you can play the giant yeah, immediately. Giant. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Wow, Yogg is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could have gotten worse, but yeah. yeah. You know, you know Yogg is pretty good sometimes, you know. So, do you just play the Nixie as like yeah. have an option to remove the Yogg, but it's frozen anyway, so why bother, right? Pup picked up that swipe. Oh, that's, not that's not a swipe. That's not a swipe. You can actually. Do you play Nixie here with the benefit of having the power of the wild next turn? No, with I, no I, I play another Drake here and just trade an 8 8 in. Just hope, just hope that you draw into the swipe. Like you're thinning out your deck, just hoping that you draw the swipe. Oh, well, that's fair. I mean, how much damage is that? One, six, eight? It's not lethal. <laughs> that's, that's all I know, it's not lethal. Well, it's six and then eight. There's eight points of damage, so but it's not lethal. Oh, hey, see, there's even, Curator. You can't even play the Curator. Unless he trades everything off, or, like, but I'm pretty sure well, he played the Drake of that, bit, right? So it's, it's not gonna matter. Yeah. I think we're probably just gonna see uh, face and then execute on the Yogg. The swipe will be devastating though, but I think it's not going to matter at that point. He's not going to execute. We're, we're going to see oh. Fran, mm -hmm. so that's 13 damage. Yeah, I like that. That's like official lethal next turn. Yeah. So 4, 5, 6, uh, so that's 6, that's, that's 10. Yeah, you have so to trade 10, one of the great 12. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to trade it. Oh, I forgot about the 4 with face as well, so yeah, you'd you... be so afraid of Grom, but I'll probably just go face here. Wait, what? what? Very into Grom, like if he's playing inner rage in Grom, then he's probably just dead anyway. No, no, you're just like Icker and Grom, right? Icker and Grom, yeah, they can yeah. do it, but then you you still have to remove. I don't think there's Re any point of actually trading off one of the one ones here, just because this is still lethal if, there, if there's Grom in hand deactivating. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, get rid of that's the only dragon left. Uh, nah, he, he had probably more dragons, it's just the dragon need you. Uh, he already drew all, both of his beasts, which are the crazed monkeys, and the murloc, which is the Finley. So that that's the uh, value that they're trying to get out of it, is they get to play the uh, crazed monkeys, which aren't that bad in the current meta. Mm -hmm. And Finley, like, what aggressive deck isn't playing Finley at the moment, and then Dragon, for oh, your man. Dragon. An extra draw. Well, yeah, now he needs something to remove that, uh... Yeah, so it could be good. Oh. But he's probably just gonna gain life here. Yeah. Draw number two, guys. Draw number two. See if he gets it. Think about all the sick value he could have had if he had teacher down this turn. Yeah. Whoa. He's playing the minis. Oh, he's doing it just in case he gets Auctioneer. That is oh, <laughs> an interesting twist, I, I, I guess. guess. I, I guess that's clever. I guess that's clever. I was wondering what he was going to do, but yeah, I guess that's clever. I think he needs to trade with that dragon now. Yeah. Oh, no. Just go nah. nice. Oh, I guess uh, in a sense you're forcing him to trade into you, right? Because you are in the upper hand here. Are you though? Like, it's always so rough to tell. Mm -hmm. Like, here comes two, like three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he's five off <laughs> lethal. So yeah, he does have to trade now. 
He could kill off the uh, Foundrel plus the Drake. Mm -hmm. But he gets to put down War Axe and Hero Power. Looks like he's gonna play the the pirate first, so he could have the war axe instead. Oh, if he Which is, something there, it'll, it'll be pretty funny. Dude, I've seen it. I've seen it over and over again. People always forget about it. Yeah. I don't know why, but they do. Yeah. But like, he still has a chance here. He, does. he gets to go in for that additional point of damage as well. So that's pretty fair. Mm -hmm. Probably got a face with the fire war axe. Yeah. Like so that. what instantly loses him the game? Swipe. Swipe. Yeah, easy. Off the top. Easy, top the top. Oi, 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 swipe. Oh. Yes, Thrill Rage is a possibility, but I don't think he plays that, so he would be Raven Island to Thrill Rage. Yep. <laughs> well played. Yep. Yep, so Pixie taking game number five in the semifinals, moving on to the final, so. <laughs> he, won't, he won't get her minute. Um, 